Hey everybody! I am coming to you on Wednesday, September 4th this week because today's the day our holiday catalog went live. So instead of waiting till Friday, I couldn't wait. And I'm coming to you live today with three holiday catalog projects. Um, there's so much I could show you and tell you today about the catalog. Um, I am almost overwhelmed with all the things that I just want to tell you. Um, but I'm going to kind of just focus on a few things. I know most of you have seen it, hopefully. If not, I will add a link to the PDF in the description of the video when I am done. Hi, everybody. Um, it's a wonderful catalog. Our holiday catalog is always wonderful. So... <laughs> I mean, it's all good. There's some really interesting, different, cool little things in this catalog um, that we haven't seen before. So those are the things that really have me very excited. Hi, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna, um, let, me, let me just share this over um, to my page so that we make sure everybody can find me. Um, I was thinking about maybe trying to come up with something else for Friday but I don't know, so don't hold me to it. If I am live again on Friday, it's gonna be a surprise. I would love to, um, I have uh, a dentist appointment Friday, but I think it would be just fine. I think I will be back in time. The, the uh, question is, can I come up with something good enough for Friday? We'll see. Okay, so let me share this to my page. I don't wanna share it to my own page because that's really weird to my personal. <laughs> to my personal Facebook page. Okay, sharing, da, 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 yes, okay, done. Now let me get your comments up. I'm gonna switch the the uh, camera around pretty quickly today because there's so much I wanna show you, okay? So, Brandy, you're watching at the office, naughty, naughty. Brandy, you and I are Facebook friends and I just have to say that I've never met you in person, but I feel like you and I are a lot alike. Brandy shares hilarious things on her personal Facebook page that are hilarious. I think, Brandy, you and I are a lot alike. We are just the same kind of person. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I won't tell you guys what kind of person Brandy and I are, but we, we are sisters in our humor for sure. Okay, so let's take a look. Um... Now, you guys, if you don't have a catalog yet, if if I should have sent you one and never showed up, let me know because you guys, I send hundreds of these and sometimes they do end up at the wrong address or get lost and honestly, they get returned to me like two months later. It's way too late for me to know. So if you didn't get one and you should have gotten one from me, let me know. If you don't have a demonstrator, or you haven't ordered from a demonstrator in a while, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to send them to you free of charge, okay? I feel like today the microphone is really close to my face. Do you guys feel like I'm super loud? Hi, Vicki. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for jumping on. It's Wednesday. It's a short week. You guys tell me, is the microphone too close? I don't know. Okay, I'll wait to hear from you. Um, Brandy, thank you. Okay, so I'm not going to just go page by page, although I would really like to. I'm going to point out just a few things, okay? At the very beginning, just like the new annual catalog, it's going to show you all the bundles. One thing that I have found a little tricky with this, no, Susan, thank you for that answer. Fine, Debbie, good. Thank you. Um, one thing I find a little tricky with this catalog is that here it's showing me the bundles, but I can't actually see what the stamp sets and dies look like, and I get that um, because they, um, you know, don't have enough space. But just know if you're wanting to order a specific bundle, you can flip to the front and find it a lot quicker. And then we have these whole suites of products, which Stampin' Up! has been doing. I mean, how gorgeous is that, right? And by the way, you guys, I'm trying to put Christmas off for like a month. Because if I don't, if I start now with Christmas, I will be so sick of Christmas by November 1st that I won't be able to do it anymore. Okay, so I'm trying to hold off on Christmas for a month. <laughs> I am going to have Christmas class in October, so don't worry. But I mean like on Facebook Friday and all that. Okay, so 12 tidings, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I want to show you that if you decide, okay, I need everything here because I'm going to make these for my Christmas cards this year. There's one number you have to enter and it's right there. All right, so just 
know that here are the bundles they're in the boxes i think they're they're labeled pretty pretty good you can see them sometimes they're hidden but these are good you can see them on the page remember if you're going to get the stamp sets and the dies don't enter the numbers individually you've got to find that bundle number because it um will save you 10 percent. okay so make sure you look for the bundle number the system won't automatically give you the 10% if you enter the number separately. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna flip through. Here are those gorgeous stars that I've been using for weeks that you should have on your first order. I'm telling you, they are the best. This is gonna be fun. Plaid, love it, can't wait to get to it. Gold, the gold uh, pizza boxes that we've been talking about. Um, today we're using Itty Bitty Christmas. And guys, look, here are these metallic inks. I just noticed the copper one's already on back order. If you want these, they're gonna sell fast. So make sure you order them quickly, okay? Um, that's just the nature of the beast, you guys. Um, they can only house so much product and they don't know what's gonna sell out fast. Um, so if you know you want it, get it quickly. Get it quickly. Here is the snowman season class. Hopefully you guys were able to see all that information yesterday about my snowman season. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it today. Here's the awesome puff paint and the embellishment kit. The reason you guys that I am doing that class where you order your own product is because I just feel like this is going to go on back order. Um, and that's hard for me to handle when I'm mailing class kits. Um, now that doesn't mean it is on back order. It's not even on low inventory, but just something in me. I just think it's so cute that it's gonna go on back order, okay? That's why I'm doing that class differently, which I'll tell you in about in a minute. Here is the mini, curve, mini curvy keepsake dies that we used last week. Here's the cute stamp set. I am gonna use the heck out of all of this. Memories and more are really cool. Um, it's got six of each card so that you can make cards with them. The moose, I love the moose. Um, let's see some of these these are beautiful these star elements the hammered metal 3d embossing folder I forget to use my embossing folders that one's really neat this stuff is really cool mercury glass acetate didn't think I would love that but oh my gosh I used it on a Halloween project yesterday and it's amazing um, so I got to remember to use it these are so cool you know what i'm going to show you guys these i wasn't gonna i wasn't planning on doing this but i want to show you this stamp set is a new design and if i remember it's like patent pending something stamping up has designed reversible um, photopolymer stamps so you can stamp on this side so the cup will be like that and then if you want the cup to go the other way you can stamp on the other side of it hello i mean to me i'm like why didn't we ever think about that I guess they did, I just didn't. But another thing that I really like that I realized today, look, after you, the stamps come on that clear page, you know, but now look what they've done. They have put the, the images of the stamps on the inside of the, you know, the stamp case paper. So then it just goes there and you can see if you're missing anything. I don't know, I just thought that was brilliant. I hadn't even realize that. I love the reversible stamp, but I love having that on the, you know, the actual stamp case for storage. Oh, I just thought that was brilliant. I had to show you guys. Super excited. I'm using that this month for my stamp club to go. Um, no, no, my in color club to go. Another thing I want to point out right here are these new masks. They inspired me to get out my shimmer embossing paste. And you guys, um, hello, why have I been waiting? Look at this, gorgeous. So we'll be doing these soon, for sure. So check those out, they're only $6. Um, okay, I'm just going through this really quickly. The kits, again, my back order predictions are just that. They are mine from my gut. I have no inside information, but there are things you guys know that are really popular and go on back order. And I just feel like this is gonna be one of them too and may possibly, I would think, sell out too. Um, so these, this is the Advent Countdown. What's it called? The Advent, that's not what it's called. It is called the Christmas Countdown Project Kit. It is super simple, it took me like 20 minutes. It's a very easy beginner kit. Um, everything, all of these come, just you punch them out, some are stickers. And um, there is a stamp set that goes that you can add on and it's just these texture uh, images here. Oh no, not that one. 
can't even see these lines right here and that foliage right there. Um, but what people are doing online is that they're turning it around and doing a Halloween countdown, making up their own Halloween countdown on the back. And look, it has four sides. It's a little bit harder because those are dimensionaled on there, but you could punch a hole in that and slide it in like that. So, wow, right? That could be all kinds of different countdowns. So if you like that, I would encourage you to get that pretty quickly. Um, here is a product medley like we had um, in May with that beautiful rosy kit. I have it. I got it on our incentive trip and I have not even opened it. So it's coming. It's coming. Beautiful. This is gorgeous. I just haven't gotten on board yet with it. I know that I will once I start playing with it. Um, the shimmery crystal effects is one of those new things that I absolutely love. Ice glitter already on back order, you guys, already on back order. Um, beautiful seaside spray ribbon. Here's one we're using today, the snow globe scenes. I love the ice skate. I've never ice skated in my life here in South Texas. It's not a common activity, um, <laughs> but I love it. Here's snow front, which looks very much like our waterfront, super popular set. Love the come together suite. I'll be using this a ton. These are really neat tags and feather elements. Hi everybody, thanks so much for sharing. You know what, my comments, hold on, they're not keeping up, they weren't moving. And I just saw, who said they needed a catalog? Jen, I didn't send you one? Okay, I don't have your new address then. Message me, okay, and I'll send it to you. Um, okay, quickly, this is probably gonna be our Facebook Live next week. I am in love with that uh, pumpkin and apple Harvest Hellos bundle, comes with a punch. And then these little birds, so cute. To every season, these little guys have little punches right here. Very cute, kind of old school. It reminds me of old school. I've actually used it for several things, designing for a um, training that I'm doing with my team. Um, online creative convention, if you're a demonstrator, you probably know what I'm talking about. I've designed several projects for that. And then, oh, the Halloween stuff. I love it, love, 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 love it. And I have to tell you guys something funny. Um, I am deep in this right now. Um, stamp club projects, all kinds, you know, the class to go I did. Um, this paper right here, there's one, if you have it, if you're a demonstrator, you know, there's one that has all these tiny little bottles right here. I put it in my um, scan, I can only remember, but you know, the I don't know what the name of it is, that machine that scans and then cuts, which I don't like, by the way, because it's a pain and I can never get get it to do right but anyway I got it to cut out most of those on one sheet it took like 30 minutes <laughs> and it is taking me days to get them off the sheet there's so many they're so cute uh, I think next time I'll just hand cut the ones I need instead of cutting them all out um, but remember if you want the whole suite right here you get everything on that page right there okay okay so black dimensionals, we're gonna use those today if I can remember to use them. And boo to you, we're using that today. And then last but not least, two hostess sets, which I just ordered today for prizes, okay? So prizes are coming. Um, you know, Susan, how can things be on back order when the catalog goes live today? Because demonstrators, well, we could only order one of each um, in the month of, August, maybe two of the glitters. Um, that just shows you how popular it is. Just shows you how incredibly popular it is. Okay, so let's see, just a couple of reminders. If you want the Halloween paper pumpkin kit, subscribe by September 10th. It's going to be a Halloween 3D project kit. The new September All-Star Tutorial Bundle is out. I haven't listed it yet. I haven't put it on my PDF store just because I haven't had time, um, but we have a blog hop on Friday. So if you like our projects and our PDFs, um, make sure you check it out. If you are a subscriber, if you subscribed in August, I mailed them out on the first. So if yours didn't show up, let me know. Sometimes they end up disappearing in cyberspace. Okay, prizes from last week were the You Always Deliver. And project kit from our Facebook Friday when we did You Always Deliver, Carla Endress and Carol Van Ness. Congratulations, ladies. I have both of your um, mailing addresses, so I will get those out to you. Thank you so much for sharing my video. This week, beautiful friendship, gorgeous stamp set. We did a Facebook Live 
Facebook Friday um, while I was in Greece using this beautiful stamp set. So I'll give away two of these next week um, to two people who share the video. Speaking of next week, I'm gonna be out of town. I'm leaving, I'm going to Michigan for Rhonda Wade's um, Creative Convention Live. My whole family's going with me because my family loves her family and they are jealous that Rhonda and I are spending time together. So I'm taking all of them. We'll see how that goes. Um, so I'll be on Thursday and Friday next week. So Facebook Friday will again be on Wednesday next week. Facebook Wednesday, okay? Okay, now, if you have never joined me for Facebook Live, remember there's a PDF um, looks like this over at pinkbuckaroo.com. We're going to do three projects. And if you order using the host code that goes with this Facebook Live, um, it's here and here, then I send you the make and takes for free, the three make and takes. And here last week, was this last week, the unicorn? What was last? No, this wasn't last week. This was week before last. But you can see I do most of the, the work for you. You just need the stamps and ink. Um, and these will uh, go out, let's see, the orders have to be in by Monday, okay? So that's Monday the, what did I say, the 9th. I cut them all Tuesday and ship them on Wednesday. So they will go out before I go out of town, okay? Thank you, Karen. You guys are generous with all your ordering and you guys have been amazing with the class. Speaking of, let's talk real quick about the class. I can't talk too long. Addie's riding her bike home today, but I think... I don't know. I need to not keep you guys too long. Here's the snowman season class to go. This is my Alzheimer's uh, research fundraiser. I shared in the video about my dad and my mom and we all think Alzheimer's stinks and it's one of those things where you just feel completely helpless. So I'm raising money. That's how I'm going to hopefully do something. Um, and this is the class that is the fundraiser. Now, usually I take your registration order and I order everything for you and I mail it all together. This time I'm doing it totally different. You order the bundle and the embellishment kit yourself. That way, if it goes on back order, you can still order it and they will mail it to you when um, it comes in. If I order it and it's on back order, then I have to either hold all your kits until this comes or I mail all your kits and then have to do another mailing of the embellishment kits. So this month you order all of this together, okay? And you use the special host code that's over there on the page with this class. And then at the end of the month, I cut all your cards and I get everything. I will provide the ribbon that you need. I will even, I'm even providing a Snowfall Accents puff paint bottle for free as a thank you, and you'll have six cards, okay? The details for this class, the ordering, host code, all of that is on my blog. There's a link at the bottom of today's post, as well as a link on that PDF that I just showed you, okay? You should be able to find it. If you can't email me, you don't have to register for that class. You just, I will know you want the make and takes because you order the class kit, okay? Thank you, Carla. Um, yeah, the, the proceeds from my PDFs um, for that class, there is a PDF only option. Um, the, the, I'm, not, I'm, I'm only doing two, like two options. One, you order the um, products and you get the make and takes, and two, you just get the PDF. All the proceeds from the PDF will go, and all of the money that I make off your product orders is going. So whatever percentage that is, typically, 30, 35, just depends on what's happening in my month, sometimes even more. I will let you guys know how much we are donating in October, okay? Here's the second class. This one is super filling up super fast. Class to go Halloween um, deadline on this one, the Spooktacular Bash class. Here's the information right here. Type that in and it'll take you right to the registration information. Um, Deadline, I don't have it on here. Let's see, September 20th, I'll have them all in the mail by the 27th. And these I am ordering and shipping all together. Okay, and there are four options for that class, but I'll let you guys look and get all that information. Um, also, today is the very last day to get your paper and your ribbon shares. Um, I've already put in the first order. I'm gonna close the, uh, 
I'm going to close, I'm reading your comments, I get distracted. Um, I'm going to close signups for product shares this evening, okay? So if you want paper and ribbon and or ribbon, you can get six by six, you can get six by 12, you can get with the ribbon, without the ribbon, here's the direct link right here to sign up, okay? And that will close tonight. All right, I am done with announcements. Let me move some stuff out of the way because we know I make a giant mess and we will get started. So I told you guys last week, I have a hard time um, deciding what to use first. It's, it's overwhelming. I love all of it. I madly love about half of it. <laughs> so it's very hard. I don't like the way that that looks. This camera looks a little weird. And you know what? I was going to try to do some zooming in today, but I'm scared to do that. Maybe we'll try that next week. Um, so I really have a hard time narrowing down what products to use. Um, when I do these Facebook lives and because normally I, I focus on just one product and we make three projects but today we're doing three different stamp sets and I'm trying to get everything out of the basket so in case you're wondering what in the heck she's doing um, so I'm I started with this guy this is boo to you so cute and I have a feeling that this is gonna have to have its own Facebook live um, eventually because it's so cute uh, I love whimsical fun stamp sets so this one is right up my alley and I love the color with blend so that's what we're gonna do um, this is the first project I made out of the whole catalog I got out stamps and I just made this but I didn't want to just make a Halloween card today so we're making a and mine is popped open a box a chocolate box that goes with the card so if you don't want a 3d you could make the card okay so it's very 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 similar I just used some of our stitched rectangles here on the card base okay okay now for some reason this guy isn't shutting the chocolates trying to get me um, <laughs> let's see what was I going to tell you and we're also using the crackle paint background stamp I love background stamps a lot Yes, Angela says it needs its own Facebook Live. I agree, Angela. And I think all of the Halloween stuff need their own uh, Facebook Lives. I love Halloween. I just love creating, crafting with Halloween. The actual Halloween, I could, you know, whatever. But I love pumpkins and trick-or-treaters. And, and, oh, it's just so fun. Okay, let's make the box first. I didn't even show you what's inside. I designed it to hold four mini Kit Kats. These, if you saw my post, are what came on ice from Amazon last month. Finding Halloween candy in August for your Stampin' Up! projects is very, very difficult. So I paid a pretty penny to have Amazon send me some on ice. Um, but this is what came, they're just the mini Kit Kats. And I designed it for four, but I think four is a little tight. And maybe three is a little bit better. It closes better anyway with just three, but you can get four in there and three you'll get, you know, cost you less to fill it up. Okay, so let me get my Simply Scored and we're gonna make this box. Now I did do three clean recordings of these projects. They will go up on YouTube today. They're already edited. So if you wanna come back um, to make these projects, you can look for those individual videos so you don't have to go through the whole Facebook Live. Okay, let me look at my notes. Remember, on the PDF, right here is where you'll find measurements, okay? This is an eight and a half by four and three fourths piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock. We're gonna score the long side at half an inch, three and three fourths, four and a half. Whoops, I jumped the track. Four and a half and seven and three fourths. Then turn it to the short side and score at three fourths and four. All right, so let's do all of our, how come I run out of room so quickly? <laughs> I don't know where to put everything. Let's do all of our cutting first. This side right here that is the half inch side, that's your lid, okay? So keep that in mind. This one is the same as this one and that's gonna be your box bottom. So over here on the lid, let's cut out these two rectangles right here. And then over here, we're gonna cut these square tabs and we're just gonna cut them at like an angle. 
okay and then let's do this one and do the same thing cut that at an angle notice how I just throw my paper on the floor I need to get a trash can for this table because every Friday after Facebook live I have to sweep all right and I have cute little stamp up trash cans I just need to get one out all right there we go so we've got those now we're going to take our corner rounder right here on the detailed trio punch and we're going to round the corners remember again this is the half inch side we're going to round these corners okay and you know what it looks like i cut that kind of poking out we don't need that poking out we need it straight okay now i'm going to fold this in so that i can have access to that corner i'm going to punch and then i'm going to do this one Hi, Gina. And I'm going to do that one. Now, to do these, I have to get creative with my folding, okay? So first, we'll stick this one in. That one's easy. Then this one, we have to fold these in. Let's see. I always have to remember. Fold, okay, so fold it in half and fold these back. And you can stick that in to get to that corner. All right something in there hmm okay there we go and let's do the same see here we are again now we're going to do this one you don't have to round the corners but i think it gives your box um more of a fancy feel a little more professional and this one See, you know, my problem is I cut on the outside of the, the score line instead of right in the center. There we go. Okay, now, here we have, okay, put those there. Here we have the box, just in case you want to see how it looks. Now, we're going to stamp the box before we put it together. And I'm going to use the Crackle Paint background stamp. Isn't it the perfect stamp for um, these guys? Kind of creepy. What I've done, I have my grid paper here on my Stamparatus, and I stamped it so I can kind of see where it started. I always line it up on my grid paper um, before I put it on the um, plate. But then if you stamp it, you can kind of see where to line up your box too. And the stamp is just a little bit more, little, my words are hard today, a little narrower than um, the box. But that's okay because it's the, the edges and it'll look just fine trust me all right granny apple green and we're gonna stamp the PDF's not popping up for today oh okay I maybe I need to fix the link I'll check it all right now I'm gonna see right here about this line see right here this line is where the stamp stops so I'm gonna turn this and line that up right there now I'm eyeballing it it's not gonna be perfect but I'm okay with that it's just a Halloween box and that's the bottom of the box okay so nobody's going to see it plus they're gonna see the candy and they're gonna hopefully not throw your box in the trash and eat their candy some rude people do that but some people don't look at the bottom see how that didn't line up but it's okay it, it goes it's fine you wouldn't you wouldn't notice it if you worry about that then you know get your ruler and make it perfect all right let's put it together did I remember to bring all of my adhesive I did I'm gonna put adhesive oh goodness my fast fuse is a mess I'm gonna put adhesive on the outside of the squares okay and um, fast fuse is retired I know but I'm still using mine and if you don't have yours anymore if you use it all up use tear and tape or Tombow all right make sure you've burnished all your lines folded them and then this folds down into there like that so cute all right let's put some chocolate in there and thanks for sharing I appreciate it hello to everybody who's just joined us all right there's your box now let's make the tag the cute cute little alien 
Is he an alien? Is he a monster? I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I think he's cute. Okay, so we're going to use Memento stamp here on Whisper White. And now, again, your monster slash alien can be any color you want him to be. I went with a purple and a green because those are kind of Halloween colors. And then we're going to put some little orange rhinestones. But I mean, the sky's the limit, right? When it's a monster because he's fake. There's no right way to, to color him. All right, I'm going over him with purple posy. Let me switch over to my bullet. I did kind of a light coating all over his the bottom half of his body. This is the part where I wish I could zoom in. You know, I'm nervous about zooming in because one time I, I did it and then the video, when I was done, it like flipped and you could only see like a tiny square of the whole video after that. So I'm scared to do that. Okay, so I'm adding some dark. I'm kinda gonna go just a little bit. Gosh, I'm being super messy. I need to sit a little bit under his mouth. I'm gonna color a little bit at the top of his legs under that arm. Then I'm gonna go back with my light purple posy. Ay, 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 that's squeaky. Sorry about that. I don't know why it's so squeaky. Probably because I'm using the bullet tip. All right, blend it all together and you can just add as much shading as you'd like or no shading at all. You can just color them in solid. And the beauty of these Stampin' Write markers is that they don't leave any marker lines. As they kind of dry, everything just kind of blends together and it looks so beautiful. They're alcohol markers and that's what they do. And that's why we love them. Okay, a little more dark over here. Blending, blending. Now we're gonna have to fussy cut him. Sorry to those of you who hate fussy cutting. Right here in the middle of his mouth, get your dark, did I say purple posy or did I say Highland Heather? It's Highland Heather. Suddenly I feel like I said purple posy. Your dark Highland Heather and color the inside of his mouth. And then let's grab the Granny Apple Light. Color in those crazy horns. Thank you, Gail. I appreciate that. Um, you guys, someone at the beginning said it was in the 60s, wherever you were. And I didn't respond, but I didn't. Oh, what am I doing? I need dark, 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 dark. No more light. And I'm super jealous of whoever that was and all of you up north. It's much cooler today. It's only 96. <laughs> my daughter um, rode the bus home yesterday, my middle school daughter. I'm gonna fussy cut this, you guys, and I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna tell you about my daughter in a second, but I have to tell you this too, with my paper snips. And I'm not gonna worry about all those little fine hairs there that he's got going on. Um, you could try to cut around them, but we're going to put him on black cardstock, and I feel like a lot of white around the outside of him would look weird because the background is black. Usually I tell you to leave a white cloud, but today we are cutting right on the black line and not worrying about all those little fine hairs. Okay, and these are paper snips. If you don't have a good small pair of scissors, get a pair of these. They are 10 bucks. Add them to your next Stampin' Up! order. They're called paper snips. I know we all call them scissors, but Stampin' Up! calls them paper snips. And they're great for this. All right, so I'm gonna keep cutting them out, finish telling you about my sweet daughter, my middle schooler, she's riding the bus. I refuse to do carpool this year, so she has to ride the bus. And she, usually I go pick her up at the bus stop because it's a thousand degrees. and. Um, I mean, it's like a, not even a quarter mile walk probably. 
Um, and she texts me and says, I'm going to walk today. It feels so nice outside <laughs> because it was only like 96. It's funny how, you know, when you've been living with 105, 106, 107 um, heat index, that a 96 feels nice. Crazy. Do I have any Michigan people on here? I'm going to Michigan next week. You guys better have some good weather for me. My husband is so excited about the weather in Michigan. I told him, better hold on. You never know. I've been there when it's cool in September, and I've been there when it was muggy and warm. Okay, woo, that didn't do good. Let's ink that up better. Boo to you, just on that scrap piece of paper. Iowa Karen. Oh, you've had the windows open for days. Let me tell you, we don't ever open the windows here, ever. It's too humid. Yes, Karen says the lower humidity makes the Texas heat bearable but you know what I was just thinking Karen we don't ever have low humidity like two times a year <laughs> I mean lower is I guess comparative um, lower than what it was yes it did feel good but still it's too hot and too humid okay so I just cut those out with my scissors um, just a straight line. We're gonna do, here's our stitched basic black circle. And we're gonna add some kind of galaxy, oh, 60s and 70s. Uh, that is, that's winter for us, you guys. That's amazing. All right, so I'm squirting this out a little bit on here so that I have more. This is a Wink of Stella, and then I'm just gonna flick it. And if he's an alien, this looks like he's from outer space. If not, it just looks cool. If your alien is not an alien, it's okay. All right, now I've got some silver thread and here we go. You know what I meant to pull out? Did I get them? The new black dimensionals, well, come on. I thought I pulled them out. The new black dimensionals come with two sheets. Uh, I wanna get it wrong. Two sheets of the mini black dimensionals and two sheets of the regular black dimensionals. What did I do with them? Oh goodness, I pulled them out, the regular size ones, and I am not seeing them. They're probably in a different basket. Darn it, I really wanted to use those. All right, well, we'll you oh, here they are, yay. Oh, right there. All right, so the package of black dimensionals has both the large and the mini which is good because you won't use them probably as much as your regular dimensionals. Um, black dimensionals are designed to go on your dark colored cardstock um, to not kind of stick out. You know, if you turn it to the side, you would see the dimensionals. It doesn't really bother me that much, but I know some people are really bothered by it that they would color the edges with a Sharpie and that's kind of a pain. So Stampin' Up! came out with black dimensionals. Now I'm taking my silver thread and I wound it around my fingers, but I'm gonna kind of make it messy. I don't want it real nice and neat, but I want it kind of contained somewhat. So I'm gonna push it into the back of those dimensionals. All right, and you can kind of, well now I've pushed it too far back, you can't even see it. You kind of want it crazy, you know, sticking out all over the place, except I made it too short. Here we go, there we go. Um, and you can really manipulate it if your nails aren't super broken like mine. <laughs> Ignore the broken nails. We'll just pretend like they're not happening. Okay, now I've got it all stuck. I think that one's a little bit too long. Let's shorten that a bit. And now we've got crazy. That I made that look way harder than it should have been. <laughs> But you can see just crazy a little nest of silver and then I like to add a couple of more of these dimensionals Just to kind of hold all of it in place. So it doesn't come loose All right, and then we're gonna put that on our box. We're gonna put our crazy alien monster on the black Marilyn has in the 90s. Wow, Karen, that's crazy. I would think y'all would be much cooler, but you're going to the 70s tomorrow. Oh, that sounds like heaven. Okay, now here are the little minis, and I'm gonna do the boo right there, and the to you right there, and we are done. Cute, huh? 
And so then you have the box and you have a card, whichever you prefer. Oh, wait, wait, we're not done. But wait, there's more. My gosh, making a giant mess. Where's my, my take your pick tool? These are the new Holiday Rhinestone Jewels. They're very similar to the Peacock Rhinestone Jewels. They're just kind of different colors, holiday colors. And we'll add some orange ones. Here I used, whoops, hello, runaway rhinestone. Here I used the Happiness Blooms enamel dots that are in the annual catalog. So, you know, both work. Super cute. I love Halloween. All right, so now that we've done Halloween, I hope you guys like this project. It's kind of a two for one since there's a card. Let me pack everything up and get it out of here so we can move on to fall. Not Halloween, but just fall. Because I know not everybody does Halloween and that's totally fine. And you know what? I meant to tell you, if you go to Instagram, um, my friend Melly Hyde did, I think it was Melody, she did, um, some non-Halloween projects yesterday with this guy. Uh, so cute. So just because it's called Boo to You doesn't mean it's limited. You know, if you think outside of the box, these things don't have to be exactly what they look like. All right. Now, next up, we've got a Gather Together hand sanitizer holder and I only have two why did I only buy two because I always need three we'll use this one Bath and Body Works they they have I bought this in August this was the only fall thing they had was this pumpkin but you know that by now I'm sure they have got more fun holiday or fall flavors okay now I'm gonna use this paper is called um, come together I won't sing it for you, but I really want to sing it. The Come Together um, Designer Series Paper. It is the fall paper, fall themed paper this year in the holiday catalog. And um, these were my two favorite pieces, the wood grain and then the, the dots. The base color of that is gray granite. And gray granite is a gray, whoops, hello. The gray granite is a gray, yes, but I think it's kind of a taupe gray. So um, that's what we're going with. But, of course, when I went to prepare, I didn't have gray granite anymore. I used the very last one. So I believe this is Sahara Sand. I can't even tell. It was a random piece up there. But it's not gray granite. Look at it. It's not Smoky Slate either. I don't know. But that's what we're using. <laughs> I've ordered gray granite. So if you get the make and takes, you will get gray granite. Here's the come or the gather together stamp set. I love these little hand drawn um, kind of sketchy pumpkins and then the dies. These framelits, nope, they're not called framelits anymore. These dies that we're using are, let's see, I think we'll use, will that fit? Yeah, we're going to use this one and this one, the bigger ones. Um, these are embossing dies. So they cut the leaf and they emboss it. And you can even ink this and emboss it and then it gives more color to your your um, leaf, which I haven't done yet, but I will. Okay, now you guys, do I have a ponytail holder? Because it is really warm in here. Please hold. Long hair problems. I love leaves too, Karen, but we don't get leaves, colored leaves here. <laughs> I know. Are you guys tired of me griping about the weather here? I know. I, the older I get, the more I just grape about the weather. Um, okay, so we're going to pretend like this is gray granite. This, you're going to need a piece. Now, this has lots of measurements, you guys, so it's right here, okay? Um, ooh, I am way behind. Okay, gray granite, 3 by 11. We're going to score at 5 and at 6. And then you've got another piece of gray granite that is two and seven eighths by four and a half. And on the long side, you're gonna score at one, two, three, and four. Okay, to make the hole for our hand sanitizer to fit in, I have chosen a scalloped oval. I've made 
a few hand sanitizer holders in my life and I have found that this one really holds on the best. Years ago, someone suggested this to me because these little scallops really kind of grip it and it, it is true, it works great. So get your scallop, <coughs> excuse me, scalloped oval die. Um, from the layering ovals, and you're gonna go in the second to last section, the one next to the skinny, the little skinny section. And it really is gonna go from edge to edge, okay? And that's okay. All right, move that. And then you can see it just really, it fits perfect. Years ago, someone suggested that because I was just using ovals and I thought, wow, makes a huge difference. Okay, so we've burnished those lines. We're gonna put adhesive right there on that skinny edge and fold that over. And I, <laughs> I totally did it crooked. Oops, well, that's okay. See, we're gonna improvise. I'm gonna cut it so that it's straight. You guys will be impressed with my cutting skills. There we go. Okay, now we've got it. And there's our little insert part that's gonna go on the inside, okay? All right, now let's take this piece and let's put the paper, the beautiful designer series paper. Um, here you can see some fall images on the back. I already have two projects for this class designed for next month. So be ready, it's coming. All right, so uh, the measurements on that are two and seven eighths by three, and this one is two and seven eighths by two, I believe. A little sliver of uh, Cajun craze. Now, I don't know if Anne Marie's watching, but she doesn't like these these fall colors. My downline and friend, Anne-Marie, so always laugh when I use these colors. She doesn't like them, but I like them. All right, we're gonna use her other favorite color, Crush Curry, and Soft Suede for those leaves, but let's stamp our pumpkin. And again, I am doing um, gray granite because that's the base color of that designer series paper, okay? If you're gonna use other paper or whatever you could use, I wanted to do a white pumpkin, so you could do crumb cake or maybe even, um, oh, grapefruit grove maybe? I don't know, you'd have to play around with it, but I love white pumpkins. And I'm just gonna color that stem in with gray granite. I know stems aren't gray, but we're going with it. Okay, bring our die cut machine back over. Oh my gosh, I covered your comments with my paper. It was like you guys had disappeared and I was here by myself. Okay, put these here. Yeah, well, Lisa, that's for sure. We haven't seen rain at our house in over two months. Things are crispy around here. I'm like craving rain, craving a thunderstorm. There's a tropical something down in the Gulf, but it's not coming far enough north for us. To give us some relief but that's pretty normal for South Texas we are very dry in the summer look at that isn't that neat that texture I love it I need to really play around with these because I think you could do some really cool um, effects with those embossing um, dies okay now we've got our pieces let's come back to our holder did I there we go, yes, of course. Um, so the hole at the top, you could use lots of different things. I'm just gonna use a half inch circle punch. You know, this half inch circle punch, when I was typing it up, is only $6. Is that right? That was, I was shocked. That seems so cheap. Because our dies are normally more than that. Our punches, uh-oh, there we go. Okay, so I lined up the back so that it would match the front, okay? All right, now, this little piece of, I don't know what it is, you guys, hay, wheat, gray granite in the background. <laughs> you like how I, my professionalism? I don't know what it is. It's just fallish. Okay, let's um, adhere our first Cajun crate, I know, um, crushed curry leaf flat and then let's do the next one 
with a dimensional. All right, there. And then we have to use one of these. I thought this was awesome. These go together so good. These are the leaf trinkets. And when you get them, you'll have copper and silver, but I've used all my copper ones up for a class or something. So I only have silver left, which was fine. I like the way silver looked with it. It was, would have been my first choice anyway. All right, so then put that there with glue dot. And one more dimensional for our little white pumpkin. And we'll put that there. Now for the sentiment, I wanted something again, really narrow and skinny. Um, you could stamp a big sentiment here in a dark color. I thought about that later, but I'd already put it all together. So you could do that. This set has some bigger sentiments like Season of Thanks. I think if you stamped that maybe in Soft Suede or Early Espresso, that would look good on that paper. Um, wishing You Well would be cute too if you just stamped it right there under. Um, but I'm gonna use this one. So glad to have you in my life on a teeny, teeny, tiny, skinny piece of gray granite. It is about a third, no, no, three eighths of an inch. It's a little bit more than um, half. I mean, a little bit more than a quarter. All right, so take your scissors and cut right there. And cut from corner to corner to the top of that line and you've got a little banner. Now you could try to use your punch, but this is really small. It would probably be hard to do. So again, a job for your paper snips. All right, get your bone folder and break down this cardstock. We want it to be kind of, I don't know, what's the word, rustic. And that when you've broken it down and it's kind of bendy, go back and bend those little tail flat flag tails out so that they're sticking out like that. And then another job for mini dimensionals. Oh, Lisa, hurricane band. Yeah, you know, when I said that we were wishing for rain, I kind of felt guilty. I know you guys on the East Coast, my heart is with you. I have obsessively been watching the Weather Channel, even though it's not coming to me, I just can't stop watching it. Okay, put that there. And let's put this down. Use tear and tape for this part. This actually needs to go to the back. I'm gonna put, see where the, uh, the raw edge is? I'm putting that towards the back. And you could add paper in here. You could do some more stamping inside if you wanted. And that goes in there and then you fold it over and Let's add some of the gather together ribbon. This ribbon comes in a combo pack. You get both this ribbon, which I thought this was gray granite ribbon, but now I'm thinking it's crumb cake. I'm not sure. And then you've got Cajun craze, linen thread, which you guys know is my favorite linen thread. And we're gonna tie those together like that. All right. Ta-da! Another fall project ready to go. Now this design for these, this hand sanitizer, you could use this hand sanitizer holder for any of those cute hand sanitizers you get. Halloween, unicorn, Christmas, whatever. You just change the colors and change your stamps, right? And then it looks fancy and you've spent a dollar, right? And um, if there are people at your office who are sneezing in their hand and then typing and doing all kinds of gross stuff, you can give them this and say, I was just thinking of you. I'm, you know, I'm just a nice friend to give you a little treat, but secretly you're helping them hopefully not give you whatever they have. <laughs> Uh, my daughter, my little one, has been doing that uh, this week. And I'm like, oh my God, would you please use a hand sanitizer? Ah, fun times. We're getting ready to get into the germy season. So those hand sanitizers make excellent gifts. All right, you guys, we have one more. Oh man, I am way behind. Addie better not need me at three. Okay, so we've got those. Let's do the third one. And the third one is pretty spectacular. I think these snow globe shaker domes are new. You see that? 
Can you see what those look like? Pretty cool, right? Um, they're gonna help you make all kinds of cool little snow globe shakers easy. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, what I decided to do, I'm not, I'm actually only using the dies for this project, only because I couldn't, I needed again, a skinny sentiment. All my projects needed skinny sentiments today. Um, so the two sentiments weren't working for me, but I wanted to tell you that if you buy the dies, you might as well add it on the stamps. You remember, use that one number for the bundle because you save 10%. And you will probably end up using these. Just for today's project, I didn't. I'm using Itty Bitty Christmas, which is a sentiment lovers stamp set. My friend Terry loves sentiment, and that's what she looks at first when she sees a catalog. So this is a great um, stamp set, all kinds of Christmas words. And so that's what we're using. Okay. Let's see, where do we wanna begin with this project? I think we will cut out the base first. This one has lots of measurements too, so make sure you pull up that PDF, and if it's not loading, I will go check it as soon as I'm done, okay? We're gonna cut those out. We're gonna cut out, while we have the big shot over here, let's just do it all. We're gonna cut out this um, snow globe, but I here's what the domes come in. I think there's 10 in a pack and they look like this. Now, they're a little bit tricky at first because the adhe there's adhesive here on the top. So you're inserting it from behind, okay? And you want to, and I've actually, you can see my paper's a, just a hair too thin um, because it's poking out, but I think it'll be all right. Um, when you go to cut this, you wanna make sure that you line this up so that you're giving yourself enough room on the top and the sides, okay? So let's see if I can not mess that up. Let me set that down right there. And then, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna cut out the base. I'm doing the base and the little decorative part of the base of the snow globe in balmy blue. Why don't I just bring this over here? That would make more sense. So let's get this over here. And let me make sure that this guy, he moved, but I think I can eyeball it. Um, okay, let's see, these go up here like this. We'll get them all in one swoop. Now, the bears. <laughs> all right, you see my bears are brown, and the little bear dies. I originally cut them in white because I think they're supposed to be um, polar bears, right? Just to let you guys know, Amazon Prime delivery truck is here, so Charlie is probably gonna go crazy. Hopefully he doesn't see him. Um, but when I pulled out this tall paper, I saw these bears, and those aren't polar bears, so I decided to do brown bears, all right? So maybe it's weird to you that I use brown bears, but I love it. Do whatever you want. It's your card. I was using very vanilla cardstock. See, I went through all these these thought processes. Uh oh, here he comes. I'm sorry. Tell your dogs I'm sorry if they're getting crazy because they hear Charlie. Um, I went through all these. You know, like, well, if I used white, then I couldn't use the vanilla, and the designer series paper is vanilla based. I didn't want to use white. So anyway, that's how we we really kind of arrived at the brown bears. All right, get all of these out of here. And this one, and we're gonna save this piece. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do something with that piece. All right, get your die brush, which now does not look like this. You can get a little attachment for your take your pick tool. I haven't ordered it, I need to order it. So that way I don't have to dig around for this thing when I need it. Get all the little doodads out. And then, Get out your fine tip glue pen. You know I love my fine tip glue pen. <laughs> For this, it works great. Just don't squeeze, only little tiny dots, and when you're dotting, it will um, give you just the right amount of glue. If you're heavy-handed like me, you always end up with too much glue, so you have to kind of Give yourself a pep talk. 
do not squeeze you'll have glue everywhere another thing sometimes I like to do is to let this just sit for like I don't know a minute and it gives that glue time to kind of solidify just a little bit you don't want it to dry but if you if you let it do that then it's not so slippery because what happens for me is I put it down and then it slides I move it because the glue is so slippery and if you give it just like a minute to solidify it doesn't do that all right looks pretty good now I'm gonna set it over here with a stamp pad on top of it so it will dry now let's come back to these pieces okay what I did where did my little brown bears go oh my goodness do y'all see them I put them over here they're hiding here they are I wanted the brown bears to not be floating up in the middle but I also didn't want them buried in the snow so I ha was having a hard time deciding where to put them on this backing piece so then I thought well let's just line this up right here this is the piece that you're going to put on the back and let's put this down here then I will know exactly where that goes you could also just you know eyeball it but I mean you've got that piece might as well do it right so that's how I know where to put my little bears not too high not too low hi Elizabeth this is one of your favorites Susan Christmas ornament yes my downline did that with the little bird Alessandra I don't think she's on here today and it is cute she did a little the little bird inside the the shaker and made an ornament it's very cute okay so now we've got that we've got that let's put this on I'm gonna peel off it's got sticky on the front and sticky on the back and I have a hard time getting it started because well we won't mention all the broken nails I refuse to go get fake nails you guys I just I'm not gonna do it so sometimes I'm just gonna have to look at my broken nails okay so remove that we're gonna stick this down on here all right and you can see my papers a little bit thin so I'm just gonna trim that off right there okay now we're gonna put you know what I want to try something that I mentioned in my other video let's try it one of the things that I noticed and it got better with time but at the beginning all this stuff was sticking to the top of the the shaker now it's you know it's been two or three days and it, they're not there's a little bit of stuff sticking there with static but um, most of it has not doing that but I thought what if I took a dryer sheet and really just kind of you know remove the static oh but did it make it mmm it made it a little gunky so maybe what we need to do is use a dryer sheet that's already been through the dryer because you know they come out not being sticky anymore but they still work in the winter I give my daughter <laughs> a dryer sheet to keep in her backpack because her hair gets so static okay so let's see if that will remove the static we'll see um, okay what I'm putting in here are the snowflake sequins Oop, that was kind of a lot and some of the ice stamp and glitter I don't want my bears to be buried in snow all right now here's a trick let's see if we can get this off without spilling it I should just use the tip of my scissors I know you guys are telling me all right now here we go now because we have that lined up we know it's gonna be perfect so I'm just gonna line this up it's a hair smaller so it doesn't peek out let's see ta-da oh and look it's not sticking all right dryer sheet to the rescue just maybe we should try one that's not you know they're like gunky in the beginning gunky is that a word they get all the dryer goodness the sticky stuff out when it goes through the dryer <laughs> These are official dry dryer terms okay now let's stamp this little sentiment at the very bottom blessed Christmas wishes 
in soft suede. And then we'll, I think our base is dry and we will, yeah, you guys will have to know, you have to let me know on that dryer sheet if you use a used dryer sheet, if it, if it still works. Because I, once I did that, I saw some of that residue on there and it would be, you know, gunky. But then I wiped it off with a paper towel and it's fine. There we go, look how beautiful that is. The ribbon I'm using is the 3 8 inch real red cotton ribbon. And this is from the annual catalog. This is my favorite Christmas ribbon. Just a good old red solid ribbon. Uh oh, hello, right here. And cut those little tails. And I can tell we're at the end because everything's everywhere and I can't find anything. And there we go. Now we just gotta layer it up. Soft suede frame. Okay. And a real red, real red card base with this Twall Tidings Designer Series paper. So cute. You could do green too. Um, I'll put that right there. And then, because you know, I love dimensionals. You're already gonna have to pay more for postage anyway because you have the snow globe dome on there. So just add in the dimensionals. <laughs> it makes it just a little more fancy with all that dimension. Uh, if you mail these, I think you're gonna have to, I don't know, find a padded envelope or something. These are these are pretty significant. I know my my local post people will be like, you're crazy, lady. They love to return my mail and tell me I didn't put enough postage on it. Okay, what do you guys think? Was I crazy to make brown bears instead of um, the, the uh, polar bears? They're kissing. It's a mama and a baby, right? So cute. Okay, so remember also, um, if you get that, if you're going to get the snow globe, you want the stamps too because you could do this, you know, on here. That would be beautiful embossed, like if you did stamped it in Versamark, embossed it in gold on gold foil. That would be stunning. Um, and then this right here, you can do a snow globe card without having to use these, so it doesn't have to be a shaker. And then that goes in there. We've got inside sentiment, outside sentiment. And the dies, wherever they went, here they are, have other things that can go in the snow globe. This cuts that house out. And there's a little, like a little house and church steeple reindeer cute right so cute okay we made it a little late today but we made it we got we've got three projects one for fall one for christmas and one for halloween remember i'm going to send you the make and takes for all three projects um, if you place an order by monday at midnight using this host code um, I've got a lot of things going on right now with host codes. So, um, if you've got a catalog in the mail from me, it had a new catalog coupon, um, that has a separate host code. All of these things have to be used with their specific host code for you to get whatever I'm offering. So if you want these, you have to place your order with this host code. If you want the snowman seasons class, that's a different host code. Okay. Um, they cannot be combined, um, for various reasons. But you guys, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed these. I hope you're excited about the holiday catalog. Um, it's a good one. And I am really looking forward to our Facebook lives up until the holidays. Remember next weekend uh, or next week, I will be live again on Wednesday at two o'clock as I will be out of town on Thursday and Friday. You guys have a great week. Thank you so much. And all of you East Coast friends, I'm thinking of you and praying for you. I bet you're going to be okay. Hopefully this crazy hurricane takes a swing out. Have a wonderful week, guys. Let me know if you have questions. Bye-bye.